It's now Tuesday in Holy Week, and I want to talk with you for a few moments about uh, what's happening in Jesus' life uh, as uh, we prepare for the rest of the week. According to Mark's account, what Jesus has been doing with his disciples is attempting to prepare them for what's going to happen to him when he takes his ministry and his message to Jerusalem. And according to Mark, his disciples don't get it. Jesus challenges them with this series of questions. Do you still not perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and fail to see? Do you have ears and fail to hear? And do you not remember? All of this happens before the events of Wednesday evening. It is tomorrow evening, while Jesus and his friends are having supper at the house of Simon the leper at Bethany, that a woman enters breaks open a jar of very costly ointment and pours the ointment on Jesus' head, anointing him. The ointment was expensive. We are told that the cost was equal to a year's wages for a laborer. And Jesus says in response, truly, I tell you, Wherever the good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Because, says Jesus, she has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for its burial. She alone of all those who had been listening to Jesus' teaching and his parables and watching his healing and demonstrations, she believed him and drew the obvious conclusion. Since, not if, since you are going to die and rise, be lifted up by God. I must anoint you now beforehand because I will never have a chance to do it afterward. For Mark, she is the first believer. She is for us the first Christian. She believed what Jesus was saying before there was a discovery of an empty tomb. Where she came from, we don't know. Mark tells us that as Jesus traveled around the countryside on his way to Jerusalem, there were also women looking on from a distance. These followed him and provided for him when he was in Galilee, and there were many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem, and she might have been one of those many other women. In these very strange times of shutdowns and viruses, there are many uncertainties and unknowns. And with all of that, we remain a community of faith that gets it. We know where God is taking us, and we know the way to get there which is to follow in the direction that Jesus is going. So we express then our gratitude and our devotion to the God we know in Jesus by loving and caring for one another and for our neighbors. And yes, even the stranger down the street. Amen.